is InDesign better than Microsoft Word? Hello friends, welcome to this short tutorial. When you think about making the final year project report, the first application that comes to your mind must be Microsoft Word. But do you know that Adobe InDesign has same features more beneficial than in Microsoft Word? Let's learn some pros and cons of using Adobe InDesign over Microsoft Word. When it comes to controlling the size of bleed margins and slugs, then InDesign takes the cake. With the help of these features, you can make sure that the content is saved under the margins and it is not cut out after the printing. To learn more about bleed margins and slugs, the tutorial link is in the description. Also, master templates in InDesign has a great advantage. You can simply apply the master templates on the desired pages by simply using drag and drop technique. You can even make changes to the template anytime you want. However, Microsoft Word lacks that feature. We need to copy and paste the template on every page manually, which takes a lot of time and effort. Furthermore, Photoshop and Illustrator files can be imported into Adobe InDesign with their original content. Sharing is easy between Adobe applications, which makes it so handy and tech savvy. However, Photoshop and Illustrator files cannot be imported into Microsoft Word. For that, you need to export those images as JPEG and PNG. Then you can import them into Microsoft Word. Now, let's find out some limitations. Microsoft Word is easy to use and cheap software. InDesign includes Creative Cloud subscriptions, which is very expensive. Also, learning Microsoft Word is simple and easy. You can create professional CVs in Microsoft Word. However, complex designs are made in Adobe InDesign, which is actually very hard to learn, as it requires high technical skills. One last thing that I want to point out is that both Microsoft Word and InDesign has their versions. So, if you had made your file in Adobe CS4, then those files cannot be opened in Adobe InDesign CC newer versions. Even if you manage to open those files, the document will end up looking different from what was originally designed. Same goes for Microsoft Word. The Microsoft Word files saved as .doc cannot be opened into newer versions because newer versions has .docx formats. In the end, if you want a simple design, go for Microsoft Word. If you want a complex design, then go for Adobe InDesign. I hope you found this tutorial helpful enough to learn the pros and cons of using Adobe InDesign over Microsoft Word. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. I will reply you as soon as possible. You can email me at javasumro1988 at gmail.com. Follow my Facebook page over here, Javasumro Productions. Follow my Instagram page over here, Javasumro Studios. If you want to see more tutorials like this, make sure you subscribe. If you enjoyed this tutorial, smash that like button and share this video with your friends. If you never want to miss any updates, click that notification bell icon. Now, I will see you in the next tutorial. Goodbye and take care.